Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. Uh, sorry for the delay on the video. Again, I was like sick this week, so you probably still hear it in my voice. I'm still have my cold, but I'm not feeling as crappy as I did the other day. Um, so I was able to get some cards done today and do these voiceovers. Uh, so we'll get into the card. Um, today I'm using my North Pole background die, which is available on my website, linked down in the description below for all products used today, including the background die. And I'm just going to be using it in a different way. Instead of using it as intended, I'm just going to be using like the bottom hill area and then the top cloudy area. But instead of clouds, we're going to kind of like make them into treetops, um, which is why I picked the yellow, orange, and red. We're going to make this into a like fall themed card and we're going to use a Hello Bluebird set um, for the images and they're just like cute little foxes. Um, as I've mentioned before, before they changed their company structure, I placed like a very large order and I bought a whole bunch of images, so you'll be seeing them pop up here and there, but unfortunately they are not available anymore because they have moved to monthly kits instead. But as always, I encourage you to shop your stash and see if you have anything that's similar. I know MFT had a few sets out at one point that I also have of like animals with sweaters on and stuff. That would be also be cute for this card. Um, but I'm just using these new images because they were super cute. And what I'm doing now is doing all my die cutting up front um, because I do want to add some stamping to the trees tops. Um, I have this stamp from Impression Obsession that I bought like a really long time ago. I think they are also out of business now or going out of business. Um, I'll check and if it's anything still available, I'll put it down in the description below. But it's just like a leafy textured background and I thought it would be good just to like add that texture to these um, panels that we're using as like the treetops and just give it a little bit more depth and pattern to it. You could use any kind of like pattern background you have. You could use like polka dots and stripes and whatever. You could even use patterned paper. That would be fun. Um, and then for the hills at the bottom. I cut two. I cut one partially just so it cut the hill top, which didn't um, go through all the way, but I ended up just, you know, trimming it with my scissors a bit. And then I cut one at the correct um, length and height of the die. For the other one, I just wanted to add again a little bit more depth in that area uh, so that it looked kind of like, like a dirt path area under like some trees maybe in the forest or whatever even though I didn't add any extra trees in the background but you know it gives the feel and the warmth um so here I am I'm just using lawn fawn inks in similar colors as the cardstock so I think I have chili pepper carrot and sunshine or sun sunbeam uh, again in the description down below, but I wanted it to be like tonal. There was still a little bit of green on it from the last time I used this for a background. So the yellow one got a little bit of green mixed in with it, which is fine. It just adds to that like fall leaf pattern, like because when you have yellow leaves, you see usually a bit of the green, sometimes the orange and red in there as well. So it just added to that texture. And then for the background, I'm just using Distress Oxide inks to ink blend just because I like the smoothness that you get out of this. Like these, as Laura Fedora always says, these blend like butter, which they do. Um, I don't actually use them too often anymore just because I have moved to Simon's Positively Saturated inks because they also have this like water reactive properties. Um, so I've kind of like not actually touched my Distress Oxide inks in a while, but I do like this blend of like the yellow, orange, and red. I used it on a card last year and it just, it looks very nice. And like I said, it, they blend so nicely together that I decided to pull them out for today's card. Um, and now I'm going to be ink blending on some Nina Desert Storm cardstock that I've got from Simon Says Stamp a long time ago. 
Um, this cardstock's great. It's a great craft color. It's not like the warm brown one that you get like at Michael's or whatever, which also has its purpose. I have both in my stash, um, but I really like this one, especially for card bases, for coloring on. Originally, for the month of September, I had, you know, coloring on different card dot colors and like using pencil crayons and markers and whatnot, but um, I kind of changed up my plan this month because I did do my launch, so I wanted to do the inspiration week and everything, and I will move these other techniques probably into 2025 just because I have the rest of this year planned. October's pretty much all Halloween cards, and November will be my holiday card series, and into December again, probably some more Christmas stuff. So basically from November on will be Christmas <laughs> videos, which you guys seem to love. Um, my Christmas videos do the best, uh, which I think is, you know, valid because Christmas cards are the ones we work on the most, um, for the most part, I think. Um, a lot of car card makers make a ton of Christmas cards. I know I do. I make at least like a hundred um, individual cards. None of them are exactly the same ever. And, um, I sell them to like friends and family and whatnot. And I make them for my coworkers and friends as well. Um, so I know I need a lot of inspiration as well for those. Um, so yeah, we'll have a lot of Halloween cards for October and Christmas cards for November, December. And then at the end of the year, like I did last year, I'll kind of do like a recap of the year, um, things, you know, things I learned, what's coming up for next year, what you guys can expect on the channel. I have some fun ideas for next year, uh, and I'm very excited to, you know, show you guys and let you know what's going on. Uh, so back to the card. <laughs> I'm, uh, just gluing on the layers. I, uh, evenly space these, like, half an inch apart. You don't have to do that. You can stagger them any which way you want. Um, I had originally was going to do them a bit closer, but it helps fill up the card a little bit more because, again, I love my plain and simple cards, so there's not going to be a lot going on. I think like the background was the most complicated part of this card just because I did have to do a lot of die cutting because I was cutting the same um, part of the dies over and over again, um, which, again, doesn't take long. It's just a, a little bit more, you know, extra work than trying to cut out the background die once. You could also do this with the background die in the landscape and do the same thing if you wanted to keep the frame and make this into a shaker card as well. You would just have to cut, like, an extra hill for the background, which you could put, like, in the shaker area. And then for the trees again you could also like just cut another layer or two and put them within the shaker or outside the shaker uh, which would be a fun idea as well and right now I'm moving on to coloring these cute little foxes one's wearing like a varsity jacket and I'm assuming the other one's like his like girlfriend so <laughs> they're out in the woods having a cute little date <laughs> um, which is my story for this one, I guess. And I'm just going to be coloring for a bit, so I will play some music and come back to you guys in a bit and give my voice a bit of a rest. Oh, so I almost forgot to do the giveaways, so I will do that now. I did get three people from a random generator uh, from the comments of last Friday's video. I was originally going to also pick from Facebook and Instagram, but actually nobody commented on those photos. They liked the photos, but didn't comment on them. So I just decided to do all three from the video from last Friday, uh, which was my official launch video. So here they are. So Cheryl Kissel 4339. 29 Velma and Patty Clancy 9051. If you would like to send me an email at let's get at outlook.com, uh, we can arrange to have your uh, giveaways, you know, sent to you. Again, you're going to be getting the Sassy Santa stamp set, coordinating die, the North Pole background die that I used in this video, and a set of magnet sheets free of charge and I will ship them to you also free of charge. So again, if you just email me, I will get back to you and we can arrange for that shipping so I can get your address and contact information. And now I'll plug the music for you guys to listen to while I color.
okay so that's our images all colored and cut out uh, on my skin and cut and I was gonna add the sentiment from the set but I decided to pull some pre-made sentiments that I have in my stash from Simon's a stamp um, if it's available I'll link it down below these are probably like things I got free in sets I don't generally like go out to buy these um, but uh, I did want to get some of them used up and I know that some of them were like you know based on like friendship and stuff which is kind of like what I wanted to do from this card I ended up going with one that says hugs from afar so I can send this to like a friend of mine who lives out of province and I'm sure she'll appreciate it uh, so what I'm gonna do is cut this out with my guillotine trimmer and then I'm gonna run my C9 marker around the edges just to make it look like it was cut out of, you know, solid cardstock instead of white core cardstock. It just makes it a little bit cleaner. And then I'm gonna prop up the foxes and the sentiment on some foam tape. And then that's pretty much our card for today. I was going to try to put some like sequins on this and I was like you know what I like it the way it is so I ended up leaving it I left it in the video so you'll see me try it but I like it with better without but let me know what you guys would prefer do you like it with the sequence or without the sequence but again that's our card for today guys uh if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below and let me know your thoughts if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Also, go follow me on Instagram and Facebook um, because I post more content there um, throughout the week as well as the content for the videos and links and whatnot. Um, and you'll just see more um, over on Instagram and Facebook for sure. The links to those as well as my Pinterest page where I have all the links to my videos are all in the description box below so you can just check it out there also if you like this background dye go to my website and purchase it and i almost forgot my other giveaway which i will announce soon i think it's a little too much to do um in this video as well so uh stay tuned for that on uh, next friday's video and until next time guys thanks bye